Hey viewers, welcome to another game as the Cash Pro Gamer. Today we're doing TSM versus MRN. And of course TSM is well known and MRN not so much. So um, yeah, I'm going to think here that TSM is going to crush this. But maybe MRN does have some, uh, well, ace on their sleeve. We're going to have to see about that. So we have a pretty standard setup for both teams. No real surprise champions. Um, yeah, the card is mid is a pretty nice pick. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a toss up between the two though. It's not going to be a really strong matchup for uh, for either of them. But uh, yeah, cards is a really good pick, of course. It is a really <laughs> dangerous place to be though. Holy crap, yeah, the Invade coming in from TSM. They're going to place a ward and then going to fall back to their own blue. I think, because obviously once you ward up the blue, uh, people are normally going to try to come in or try to, um, well, go on your blue. But in this case, they see that the team is backing off. Holy crap damage. And first blood goes to the MRN team. Total surprise. But yeah, they did a very good job of just keeping track with that one ward that they had. Keeping track of what was going on. They saw the entire team moving through and yeah, just went for it. So Malphite, yeah, overextending a little bit there. Shouldn't have, well, they shouldn't have taken that uh, that path at all. And yeah, they get behind by quite a bit because, well, first blood is of course a big thing to have, especially if it's assisted. Because, well, in this case, it, uh, it has four assists. So everyone gets a little bit, which means that, yeah, you don't really lose a whole lot on the assist but uh, oh Carter's jungle gonna fail yeah very nicely done they do pick up an easy kill there because Carter's jungle of course I uh, I did not realize he was going for a jungle because he doesn't have uh, yeah he, he isn't the jungler it seems but well whatever anyway uh, we do have <laughs> We do have the blue buff now on um, on Nasus. He gets a rest a little bit, but uh, not too much. And yeah, the easy kill there from the bottom lane is actually going to equalize most of this because now they do have that kill in bottom lane and that kill in bottom lane means that, um, yeah, they're going to do fine for the rest of the game. So, well, yeah, the invades coming out from Nocturne, but Nocturne not actually doing so, doing counter jungling he's just picking up a raid camp which means nothing nothing at all because Nasus is just going to recall and by the time he gets back here oh no 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 he is staying in but I wanted to say by the time he gets back here the raid camp is just going to be up again because obviously they spawn like every 50 seconds and it is not a big deal now he's recalling but yeah he's just going to go into the wolves and then the raids or something like that but it's not going to matter at all. So Cartus is in the bottom lane. And they did put uh, both of the uh, the bottom laners in the mid lane. Um, yeah, there's no reason why, really. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't see the reason why. Uh, Twisted Fate can do pretty well against Caitlyn. Especially in the mid game. So now, once he gets his first item. And it doesn't even have to be a complete item. As soon as he has some AP going... And some levels going he uh, he should be fine it should not be a problem because obviously what's going to happen is uh, his wild cards are going to pick up most of the wave anyway and then if you combine that with a little bit of extra uh, extra damage yeah you he should be fine he shouldn't have to uh, extend at all for any kills but yeah it is of course true that um, Caitlyn is pretty good at zoning people and she has a pretty long range attack, so yeah. Anyway, I don't think that it will make a difference. They're just going to pick up uh, less kills on the mid laners than they normally would. And maybe that is exactly what they want. Maybe it is just because Cartus is better at farming. And they kind of want to starve the, uh, the Twisted Fate a little bit. But it's not going to matter too much. Wow, three guys in mid lane. This is going to be very hard to defend for Nasus, but Nasus, of course, does have 
that AOE damage and they're going to be fine the uh, Twisted Fate coming back in he did heal up and that is quite nice and lots of damage going down on uh, on Cartis here it seems by the way that um, the uh, Caitlyn pick is kind of a standard pick now every every match so far has had a Caitlyn in it I think also the NASA jungle uh, seems to be a very popular currently it is of course a very strong in the late game and the early game so yeah it only has a gap in the mid game but once you get to that um, through that early game stage and to that uh, mid lane stage you either are ahead or behind and yeah with Nasus you have a better chance of actually being ahead so obviously yeah the Nas is standing right on top of a ward there and they're going to see him so one versus one the score there's 300 gold between them that is the assist I guess uh, no that's not uh, hang on that's the other team the first blood assist I wanted to say because the first blood gives about 150 extra gold with the uh, 100 extra gold on the kill and 50 extra or so on um, the assist so yeah but that was not true that is the other team so this must be just the minions and well top lane is equal the minions in the jungle are kind of equal when we see this uh, or while we see this a uh, little bit of a push here coming in from the red team not a big deal though it is um, yeah in the bottom lane it's equal and only the mid lane is uh, is really it really has a difference and that is towards Curtis, so that is the other team. So I don't know how uh, TSM is ahead, but I guess they um, they did something <laughs> that I d didn't really, well, take into account. Maybe they just picked up bigger minions or something like that. I mean, especially if your jungler only picks up the small minions, then or mainly the small minions, then yeah, that can make a big difference. It's an attempted blue steal here. And it is going to succeed because nobody is paying attention to that at all. And well, with the red team just stealing that blue, they may actually pull ahead here. They are going to, uh, well, not pull ahead by in gold yet, but yeah, within the utility, obviously the blue buff is very important in that early game because you don't have any cooldown reduction yet. You don't really have anything yet. So that, uh, that buff in mana and cooldown reduction is going to be very big. And as you can see, yeah, the lane's getting pushed quite a bit and they are going to, uh, well, the, the TSM team took out the bottom turret there and they're going to uh, trade that, I think, for the mid turret. Because the mid turret is going to go down. So both of the AD carries or AD carry support teams doing what they're supposed to do which is push the lane making sure that they uh, take out an early tower making sure they open up those lanes for ganks and um, yeah well that's exactly what happened here um yeah the sona in a bit of trouble but oh oh yes very nicely done wild turtle is proving to be a very good player once again doing exactly what is expected of him and yeah landing that ultimate to, into a kill and yeah that is quite impressive because that ultimate is so hard to aim but of course draven is a pretty good champion uh, he's just not very reliable uh, damage wise because you have to catch the uh oh i forgot what they're called i i now, now bouncing blades is in my head but that's not what spinning axes that's what it's called but yeah you have to catch those axes because otherwise you lose quite a bit of your damage potential oh 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 very close to a kill there but it's not going to happen they couldn't run in there because they didn't know where the rest was and indeed there was a third champion coming in it was just Sona so yeah, Sona was not going to change anything about that fight, but yeah, well. So anyhow, uh, support-wise, I wanted to point out, well, last game we saw that they had uh, Elisa's support. And Elisa's support is, of course, really aggressive because she doesn't really have anything except for a stun, and stuns are normally aggressive. She has a lot of damage. She has a gap closer. She has uh, 
all those kind of aggressive things. Whereas if we see here, well, that was against Lulu. So there she was the aggressive champion and Lulu was the defensive one. Well, semi defensive, I call it. But here we see the Sona versus Lulu and both of them are semi defensive. But I think Lulu comes out as the most aggressive there because if she uh, levels up her skills in a different order than she normally would, you, um, you kind of see that she has a lot of damage on her slow ability, on those, uh, those lances. And yeah, that's exactly the way, uh, well, that is supposed to be. So it's, uh, it should be very nice. Oh, 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 that did not go well for them. Three ultimates used and nothing out of that. Uh, that is just, yeah, that's not the way they wanted that. Wow. Three ultimates used. I don't know if he had a cleanse. I think he had a cleanse. Uh, I can't actually see what that summoner spell looks like. Yeah, it is a cleanse. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at a smaller screen than you guys are. So you can probably tell what it is but it is a cleanse and yeah a very nice cleanse it was because all of the cc got stacked in one moment and yeah all only the cards as ultimate really doing anything there of course uh, a nocturne ultimate still did a little bit of damage but yeah well it always does and uh, the sona ultimate also did a little bit of damage but yeah if that doesn't stun and the uh, nocturne fear doesn't go off then you're pretty much helpless. Yeah, you can. The, the champion can just run out, and uh, it should all be fine. But very nicely played by by both teams. I mean, stacking up those ultimates really was good, but they should have drawn out the cleanse first by, uh, yeah, by doing something that removed the cleanse and then trying again uh, a few moments later. But yeah, they don't really have that. Uh, well, that scary. Stun like uh, Twisted Fate has a scary stun, a stun that's repeatable. <coughs> you can't really defend against that with cleanse because what are you going to do? You're going to prevent it once and then you're going to have to wait for like two minutes. Yeah, that's not going to happen at any point. So the turret indeed gets traded for the mid turret. It took a while, but they finally took it down. The blue buff gets stolen. And yeah, wards are going down. So the red team really good at stealing that blue buff so far. And they are going to just own this. Bye bye, Cartus. Oh man, this is, uh, yeah, this is so gone. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even close. And of course, yeah, this time the cleanse is not up. So he's not going to get out of that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the way it goes. The first time you can cleanse, the second time you normally die. And that's exactly why people go for flash and cleanse, because flash can get you out of most of those situations anyway, if you have the right reflexes. And from a pro gamer, we can kind of assume they do. So um, yeah, nicely played by the red team here. They pick up a second kill. But there's still one and a half K gold uh, behind, almost two K by the way. But they have been doing a good job of controlling the buffs, actually stealing the enemy buffs. Because, well, that blue buff is going to be really, really important. And, well, stealing that twice already is just a big deal. And it doesn't even matter who gets it. That's, that's the whole point. In this case, I think that Nocturne picked it up. Of course, it would be the best on Cartus, But, yeah, well, even if, if Cartus doesn't pick it up, it doesn't really matter. It's all good. And yeah, we're just uh, we're just going to assault this tower now. And with Nasus here, we should do pretty nicely. Well, we have four champions here, so I guess it doesn't really matter who is here, as long as there are four champions hitting on that tower. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good anyway. Oh wow, really? So wow, just expending. Uh, a full pink ward on a ward in the mid lane or in the middle of the lane I should say uh, yeah that is uh, that's quite significant 
<coughs> wow, a nice turnaround. They actually made that work for them. And they pick up the kill on the, on the Nocturne. And the card's ultimate is already down. Oh, wow. Another kill. And where did she go? There she is. Bye-bye. So, uh, <laughs> very nice. Very nice. They are going to make it very easy here. And 6-2 now. Yeah, that, that really turned around. But yeah, that was a free ward from um, the Sidestone. And it got countered by a pink ward, which costs 120. 25 gold so yeah you basically make that that side stone completely worth it already because not only does it provide a ward in this case it provides 125 golds on the enemy team well 100 i i guess because you did they did take out that ward you get 25 gold for that but still it's a big deal. It's a big deal, especially because pink wards, yeah, as you can see, the enemy or the enemy, the red team doesn't really have any pink wards left at all. So there's a limited amount of them. There's an unlimited amount, a virtual unlimited amount of normal wards because of those uh, side stones, ruby side stones. Yeah, you, you can basically put them wherever you want. And of course, uh, the Nocturne also has that Riggle's Lantern, which also adds another ward to the mix. And yeah, well, all in all, you just get a whole lot of free wards in the, in the game now. And yeah, countering that with pink wards is <laughs> really expensive. But yeah, well, whatever. The team fight uh, that followed was uh, completely won by uh, the TSM side. Because the TSM side just, uh, well, they didn't overextend. As much so they kind of grouped up after the engage started but well the uh, MRN side kind of split up after the attack started and only Nocturne was in the front and he got killed so well that's the way it goes so NASA's ending up with one kill and well he should be getting his last hits up that's why he is in the jungle he's trying not to mix in the fights too much because well his team needs to make it while he uh, he gets through this uh, this mid game part, and if he can do that, then well, he's going to be a very strong champion. And I don't know what this is, but this doesn't look good. Oh yeah, well, we're going to set it to a lower resolution if it keeps doing that. Currently, it's 720p. I would like to keep it there, but if it keeps lagging. And um, yeah, we're going to have to. Uh, yeah, this is a stream site, by the way. It's not a a video recorded site, which is kind of strange. But I guess the advantage is that is that I can't really download the video from YouTube. I can download any video uh, at the same quality. Here, I have to. Here, I can watch it, but I can't record it, except for well, with screen capture software, which is what I'm using right now. And they're not going for the dragon. Okay. Anyhow, uh, big team fight, three for three trades, and it is of course, uh, well, the up to the the two survivors to actually make that into some kind of an advantage. But yeah, they didn't want to. They uh, they didn't want to go for that dragon, even though they knew that there was no vision on them. I mean, there's a pink ward smack down in the middle of the dragon. So, yeah, as long as you stand close to that, you know that there's nobody there. And, yeah, the red team is now going to check it. They're going to find that the dragon is still there. And they are going to regroup there. And, oh, <laughs> a little bit of damage going off on Lulu. But the blue team, of course... Is going to get here as well. And Cartus is going to go down. No. No. He's still alive. No ultimate coming out this time from Draven. Because it's not up. <laughs> but that would have been an easy ultimate to land. And yeah. With Cartus almost dead. The, it is a 4 versus 5 here at Dragon. So blue team going to pick it up. Quite easily. 
TSM, of course, knowing that that was all they needed, but uh, I think they could have done it with the two champions that were there. They just weren't sure where they were. Well, they were they were sure that the Caitlyn was somewhere close because she was close, and then she jumped through the wall, and then they didn't know where she was. But yeah, she recalled. I guess they didn't want to risk it because of that, because if you go low and there's a Caitlyn around, yeah, you're going to get killed pretty hard so it seems that um, Malphite is still one of the top picks here in this tournament he is of course a super good champion I'm not saying that he's like the big initiator of fights who uh, doesn't have to really worry about anything and yeah he's just uh, he's just great at starting fights and well you need someone like that on your team because then you can control the team fights when they happen and where they happen you can also use it to uh, to escape you can use it to uh, uh, save teammates and well most of the time it is used to engage in a team fight so to either join in uh, so to make sure that you uh, well, the, well, while the team fight's already happening, make sure that uh, your teammates get some backup. But yeah, you can also use it to uh, initiate the team fight. And of course, that stun that you get or the knockup that you get is kind of important for people because, well, that allows them to, uh, to catch back up. Yeah, I really wonder if they're going to change that uh, red card animation because it looks like, well, it looks terrible to be honest. The red card animation, this this star, just yeah, it looks like someone drew it in paint and then said, well, it, it has to look about something like this, and then they just took it. It doesn't look refined at all, like most of the other effects. Most of the effects look really cool, and that one just doesn't fit the bill at all. There's no details in it. There's nothing really. But hey, who knows? The ultimate going down. No, he's not going to land the stun. Um, maybe it's spell shield? I don't know. Anyhow, um, yeah, the blue team trying to get some, um, some fight going. But it doesn't even matter whether they do or not. Because they just take out the top tower anyway. And it is now 3 to 1 in the towers. Which, uh, which is great. And once again with all of these pink ward. That's a 450 gold investment. Or something like that. No, it's about uh, 350. Yeah, 375. And then they uh, they lost a little bit. But yeah, you can buy a, uh, an oracles for that. Because, well, they could have taken the oracles. And just killed the one ward that was there. Of course, that doesn't give you vision. But yeah, that's why you have the side stone. To give you that vision to make sure that you can plant wards and holy crap damage come on why do you have a blue card ah uh, yeah he does he does get the kill because wild cards are just so strong once you have ap going and uh yeah 142 minions on him 180 on cards so both of them a little bit behind where they normally would be but especially the Cartus is normally the one that uh, that farms way better because well he can also pick up the the minion camps on the side of the so the, the raid camps for example uh, from both teams and yeah he didn't pick his card yet oh brilliantly played it was a very subtle play but it was a brilliant play at that oh the nice flash yeah, the, he, what he did was he used his ultimate and instead of picking the card straight away, he waited until the spell shield was actually down and then he got the stun off. So it's a very subtle play, as I said, but it was very nicely played. And yeah, that ex that's exactly why they got the kill. And unfortunately, the Malphite ultimate failed because of a brilliant flash. But yeah, that um, the, the kill was still made, so... Uh, that's the only thing that matters. And of course, they pick up the Baron. Because Baron, yeah, that was what it was all about. That's why he uh, he wanted to grab that uh, that Nocturne. He wanted to make sure that Nocturne didn't come in with his, uh, his ultimate and stole that. Uh, 
But yeah, we're just going to, uh, well, just do whatever. <laughs> oh, we're just uh, currently, yeah. It's currently just a, a little bit all over the place because people are just farming and they want to uh, wait for the rest of the team to group up. Of course, uh, well, Reginald farming pretty heavily because, well, he is currently the highest uh, uh, kill champion on the team. Well, together with, uh, with Draven, I guess. But yeah, this uh, just um, making sure that they can uh, they can get the, the items that they want to have. And of course, both of them are really reliant on items. Although Twisted Fate is a little bit more about uh, well, other things. Oh, nicely done. The ultimate was still available on Malphite. And uh, they get a nice kill out of that. The stun goes off on... Spidey, but yeah, she uh, she repelled just in time. The stun is still going off, so the damage is still done. But yeah, that really doesn't matter because well, if you're in the air, then you can get stunned all you want. You uh, you can't get hit while stunned. So yeah, an inhibitor goes down, and that is at 26 minutes. So it's not really early, but it is a very good pick up uh, so five versus two the towers and of course with the inhibitor down they're going to have super minions they're going to have all of their lanes push and that is awesome because that means that we're going to see a little bit quicker game here although I still don't think that it's going to uh, beat any records anytime soon because well they're still playing pretty safely and yeah that's well, that, that means that we're going to have to wait quite a while for this to uh, to end. But it's all good. They're going to uh, trade this tower for a dragon on the red team. Because the red team did pick up that dragon. But yeah, well, a tower, especially a tier 2 tower, is worth more than that. Because it's not just the gold. It is also the, the ability to well control your lane, to have vision in your lane. And yeah, well, now you would have to do that with a ward or something like that. Because if someone is going to push your lane, then um, yeah, with all of your turrets down except for your inhibitor turret, that is going to be way easier than if you have all your turrets still up. But obviously, well, that is on both teams. So um, yeah, well, Kurt is picking up a dragon and then pushing this bottom lane. It is, however, Twisted Fate. Who is there who's going to pick up all of the minions and because of his uh, wild cards he's going to easily take them all out and just go into the jungle here to pick up a red buff i think no oh draven wants it okay well that's cool draven of course a uh, really good target for that wow double stun yeah that was a little bit too much and obviously once you take out the ad carry with 250 farm yeah you're going to be able to push quite hard no Infinity Edge yet on um, on her. Draven does have one. No Infinity Edge on uh, on the Caitlyn. So that is going to be um, yeah, just a a big loss for them for the well for about I don't know forty seconds or so, and that means that this tower should go down because there's no way they can defend that. Because 5 versus 4 defense uh, in this situation where you're this far behind, yeah, that's not going to work. That is going to get you killed. Well, 14 to 5 to score now. Uh, they're 10k gold ahead. And yeah, 10k gold is a lot if you're not even at 40k gold. Even if they would be at 40k gold. But yeah, here you see the 5 versus 5 defense is not even going to work. Although they do get some people pretty low. But everyone survives. Oh, no, no, no. The Cardus ultimate comes out. One guy at least goes down. It, it was before the Cardus ultimate came out. But yeah, well. The Cardus ultimate would have picked up that kill. So yeah, that was bad communication. Because Caitlyn should have uh, ulted someone else. I don't know if she could reach someone else. Because if she couldn't, this was still okay. But if she could reach someone else that was low, it would have resulted in a double kill. But here... Yeah, she kind of stole the kill that Cardus would have picked up anyway. So, uh, yeah, bad communication. But, well, kill is a kill, right? At least they secured it now. And, yeah, 
It, it was, however, a Lulu for three champions. Lulu really doesn't matter at all. I mean, you're not going. You're you're going to get about three hundred gold for that, sure. And even well, a little bit more because it's assisted. So let's say you get four hundred and something gold out of that. Um, yeah, you're still not going to be able to push at all. So you're still not going to get anything out of that. If they killed, I don't know, the Draven, that would have been a big pickup. Or the Twisted Fate. Because they would have been able to invade that jungle even if they wanted to pick up the blue buff. It wouldn't be smart because all of the lanes are still pushing. But it could have been done by one champion. Yeah, sure. Why not? Anyway, uh, Dragon is going to come up in a few seconds. Oh, Baron is com coming up in a few seconds. Sorry. Yeah, I thought Dragon would be up right about now, but they do have a Baron timer and Baron is coming up right now. And of course, TSM knows that. Uh, the uh, MRN team knows just about when the Baron was, uh, was taken. But yeah, they're not going to do anything about this because, well, they're just too weak. So we're going to pick up this Baron and the inhibitor is back up. There goes the uh, the, the Baron. And of course, um, yeah, they were hunting this uh, this one guy. <laughs> oh, they were hunting Malphite and that was not going to work at all. So top lane tower gets taken out because they were four versus one on, uh, on Malphite. And Malphite didn't even die. I don't know where number five is. Maybe it's even five versus one. I don't know. But yeah, losing an easy tower there and uh, losing the inhibitor as well. No, maybe. Minions can still pick it up. Bottom tower is going to go down because now all of the team moved to top lane. So yeah, there you go. It was five guys. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to pick up another inhibitor here and probably the bottom lane inhibitor afterwards. Because with the entire team here, yeah, what are they going to do? Uh, it's not going to work at all. <laughs> Look at that damage. Holy crap. So yeah, we're going to pick up a double kill here for uh, Twisted Fate. And the ultimate comes out, but it's not going to do anything at all. Lulu didn't even prevent it with the shield. She's going to take a tower shot. <laughs> that kind of made use of the shield. But yeah, well... An ace here, it's it doesn't even matter. Eight and zero for <laughs> Twisted Fate. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, they really couldn't pull it together here. And that was unfortunate because, uh, well, I would have expected a little bit more of an interesting match. Because uh, TSM had kind of did have trouble in their first match. And, uh, well, <laughs> they didn't have any trouble here. So, uh, well played. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Cheers.